we're here at Sensei AI Week, and I want to ask you just to share with us who you are and tell us a little bit about your company. Yeah, so my name is Ashima Sharma, and my company's name is Ayuka Consulting. We do AI and data analytics consulting, and we have been working primarily in preparing organizations to be ready for AI outcomes. So we look at their data, we clean their data profile, label it, and ensure that they are ready to implement a product and actually get an ROI out of that as well. So we do change management for them. We involve all of the data readiness activities. We clean their data and all of that that leads to their AI product implementation. Okay, well, Ashima, tell me what motivates you to do what you do. Well, this is something that I started. It's a startup and I started it one year back. So we were basically, I was doing 20 years in corporate world in healthcare and in banking industries. And I have been in data for pretty much all my life. And looking at data, it organically took me into AI because good data equals good AI. So we've basically taken all of that and said, okay, how can we implement better AI products, better AI tools, cutting through the hype and making sure that the organizations that are implementing actually create ROI on it as well. So we are building better ways of using AI. Okay, and if it wasn't for AI, what do you think you'd be doing? So I think that I would still be doing something in technology because I have been doing technology for 20 plus years and it has been something that really um, I enjoy when I work with clients to solve a problem. So if it wasn't for AI, I would probably still be working in data and creating data-based insights. Okay, and how are you using AI to make an impact in your industry? So right now we have uh, been working in the way of um, helping organizations learn what are the right use cases for them, what are the right things to apply AI into, but then also responsibly implementing that AI and saying, hey, how does this change my compliance framework? How does this change the governance that I need to do in IT based on this new AI tool that I have? Um, other thing to think about is the data readiness and implementation with data. So AI makes data very available to everyone. So it also leads to risks in cybersecurity, risks in the ways that uh, your data can be now utilized. So um, having a better framework and solving that problem for our clients, that is what is uh, what's most exciting to me. And what are some of your predictions on what's next for AI? What's next for AI? So say uh, last year I did the 2025 prediction, but this year I would say in the next three to four years, we're probably going to see a lot of agentic AI. We will see AI agents that are very good at doing certain particular tasks and then including multiple agents to do a multi-agent environment, right? So looking at manufacturing, for example, AI factory, we would see more of AI in that space. Multimodal capabilities are already there, which you can use tech and images and everything else, some different modes of using AI. So we will continue to see more of that. And the third thing we will see is job impacts in the next three to four years. So we will, there will be some job impacts for sure. Not to say that there won't be more jobs created, other jobs created, but the old fashioned, the, the jobs that we knew as they were may go away as well. And what are some of the human components that you think AI is limited in to not being able to do? Yeah, so human decision-making, discretion, um, enhancing the capabilities of that empathy, all of that is assisted by AI. It's not done by AI. So the decision-making should continue to stay in the hands of um, humans. And I would say that agentic AI will lead us more into that direction of use AI for particular monotonous tasks or certain tasks that are rule-based, but not essentially uh, human discretion-based. So we will stay um, human in the loop on the loop environment. So what is the perfect partnership of that look like of taking the advanced AI tools and that human component? Yeah, so perfect partnership would be the human-machine interaction, creating more uh, fusion skills in humans. I would say when we talk about jobs too, there is a need for better fusion skills, meaning that we all as humans need to learn how to utilize AI better for our jobs. So creating that better human-machine interaction is where this would be going and that would be the best uh, for both sides. Okay, and uh, what would you say to someone that is maybe scared of AI, uh, isn't sure about its use, doesn't know uh, how to implement AI into their regular workflows. 
Yeah, so I would say that um, be ready to learn, be growth minded, be able and aware of everything that's coming to you and to your job and creating that better environment for themselves uh, with skills, the new skills that we're talking about, right? The fusion skills, the machine interaction skills, and how would you utilize? So AI is not here to take your job away, but someone who knows AI might take your job away. So that's the thought process I would have them. I would encourage everyone to learn. Okay. And how is your company helping to bridge that gap? Yeah, so our company it does, we have three pillars. Ayuka Consulting is the company name, and we have three pillars. We have AI upskilling and education, and that's directly related to bridging the gap for humans, making sure that everybody's learning, everybody knows what AI is capable of doing and what use cases, particularly in their job and in their industry, there are. Second pillar we have is the AI strategy development. So for any organizations that are um, interested in developing an AI strategy, understanding where to invest and why to invest, where will they gain most ROI from, that's the strategy side. We do data assessment, we do ch um, cultural change management assessment to ensure that they know that they are ready or not ready yet and what do they need to do to get ready. And then the third pillar we have is actual implementation. So that's where we call ourselves data geeks or data janitors. We go in and we look at their different sources of data and messy data, and we clean that data up to uh, enable the AI outcomes for them. And what's your personal superhero power, the thing that AI cannot replace? My personal superhero power is I feel like um, I connect with people really well and I'm able to get to the bottom of what's the root cause of the problem that it is, you know, that that's causing them uh, pain. And that is something that AI cannot do without a lot of prompting and that prompting comes from me. So that is not going to be replaced. All right. Well, thank you for taking the time here at Cincy AI Week to share with us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Thank you.